Hello everyone and welcome to Drilling Deeper at Mining.com.au. I'm Oriel Morrison. Joining me today is James Marsh, who's the CEO of Zeotech. James, good to see you again. How are you doing? Yeah, good afternoon, Oriel. Doing very well, thank you. Um, some good news to share. Congratulations on your MOU with Lang O'Rourke. Um, tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, this is a very positive development for our business. Uh, we've been working with Lang O'Rourke for a while now, uh, looking at our solution to decarbonizing concrete. Um, and we ran a large demonstration event about three weeks ago, where we did the largest concrete pour ever in its type in Australia using our Ospos product. Langer Rock attended along with uh, about 30 odd other engineers. And that's led to this uh, move now to form a collaboration with us to look at using Ospos uh, in, throughout Australia in their projects. So, so for those viewers who don't know much about the company, um, can you tell us a little bit about this Ospos product and, and just what makes it so special? Yes, yeah, certainly. So we have a, a mining lease in near Bundaberg in Queensland where we have a, an ultra pure form of kaolin, a very unique uh, resource in the world but we from that product we can convert that to something called metacalin with a very simple process this process and this is what we call our ospos product now ospos can replace cement in concrete and, and cement holds about 80 85 percent of the carbon footprint of concrete so we're looking at replacing anywhere between 20 percent to 50 percent of the cement uh, so we don't just do that and reduce the carbon dramatically but we also give some very interesting performance improvements, and we can also give cost savings. So that's why companies like Langer Rock are so interested in what we're doing. So if we look at this MOU, um, obviously this is going to be, you're going to be having a lot of field trials with this and potentially the other engineers that you were talking about. Um, these will be on major infrastructure projects, won't they? I mean, this is a, a type of validation for your product and, and would certainly in, improve your, your growth strategy going forward. Well, certainly, yeah. So Langer Rock, now they've got some major projects, I think something like $3 billion worth of projects last year. We're moving towards the uh, all the stuff that's required for the Olympics coming up in southeast Queensland very soon. They're involved in that quite intimately. And um, we also have uh, Queensland Main Roads and Transport who work with Langer Rock and also working with us on looking at using OSPOS in those projects. So this is all helping to, uh, to gain interest in what we're doing and the timing is just right because uh, we're aiming to get to operation as, as soon as possible to get into these major projects you know, and uh queensland main roads were actually at the same demonstration three weeks ago and we have got another demonstration tomorrow this is a, a follow-up demonstration uh, uh, on the one three weeks ago where we will we should have final approval for potentially for concrete use in probably 70 percent of all wind farm concrete in australia Congratulations. That's incredible. Um, James, tell us about your, your capital rates, because I assume this is working in tandem with these plans that you've just been talking about. Yeah, it is. So we, we need uh, not much CapEx. We need about $8 million of CapEx requirement to go into our operation for mining. So it's a very simple mine. Most of that CapEx is actually for the road upgrades around the mine area. So we're raising uh, $8 million plus at the moment. Just to, so that means we can build a mine uh, Q1 next year. The plan is to, and then in the June quarter next year, we should be into some very significant cash flow. We have a large offtake agreement with one customer. Very simple, straightforward business. This is uh, direct shipping ore cutting. So all we do is uh, mine, dry mine it into trucks down to the port of Bundaberg, into a stockpile, then load it on ships. Uh, that'll give us about $12 million EBITDA from year one. So very, very civil business, and that ramps up over five years to over $200 million, a contract over five years. Mm -hmm. So so you've got your MOU, you, you've got your uh, this $200 million that you're talking about, this deal, uh, uh, this China deal. Um, what's next for you from here in terms of partnerships? Well, we are talking to a number of raising potential partners. Now, I mentioned there were over about 35 leading engineers at our last demonstration including TMR Queensland, uh, including R uh, Langer Rock, who now signed up. Um, there were several others there who also have expressed interest in working with us. I mentioned the wind farm concrete people, so we've got them very interested. Um, we've got already got a partnership with Holsham, the world's biggest building products company. Um, but we had, uh, even we had Borrell there as well at the demonstration. So we've got interest from all the top tier cement and concrete companies in Australia now. Uh, and this is just perfect timing because the safeguard mechanism was introduced new targets for carbon last week by the government. Uh, and our, our product uh, can allow the government to get a long way to reaching those towards reaching those targets. But also we create a whole load of new jobs 
in Queensland where there's just been a thousand job losses last week. Mm. Well, that's uh, that's uh, wonderful on a number of fronts there. Um, James, look, thank you so much for chatting to us today. We really appreciate it. Sounds like you're, you've got your hands full and you're very busy. So thanks for giving us your time. No problem. Stand by for next exciting news. Thank you.